Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. And you got here just in time. That's right. It's Friday. And you got here just in time for a new edition of Friday's Finds. We had a box delivered yesterday late. I don't know what's in it. I kind of think I know what's in it. It's really heavy, so it kind of gives it a clue. But let's see what's in this big flat box right here. It's heavy, heavy, heavy. Can we see? Yep, we're, we're. <laughs> I like opening boxes. Especially heavy boxes, you know, during Christmas, the, the, the gifts you got most excited about were the heavy ones. And this one, this one feels like it weighs about 40 pounds. Ah. Ah, that's what I thought it was. We have, we have a, a new channel sponsor. Devos. Devos has joined the elite rank of Dude RV channel sponsors. Thank you. Thank you, Devos. Is it Devos or Devos? I guess it depends on where your drawl is from. Devos. Ah! I'm telling you, this box is heavy. But, um, Really excited about what's in it. Oh, look. <laughs> I'm making it harder than it has to be. We've lost the cardboard. Ah, there he is. Another piece of cardboard out of the way. Oh. In case you haven't already guessed. This is a pile of steel. <laughs> it's actually stainless steel. I guess it's anodized stainless steel. It's got a coating on it, a black coating. Look how thick that is. That's why it's so darn heavy. Alright, we got one more piece that's Gotta put it together. Well, I guess it makes a difference which way it goes.
No wonder it's so heavy. That's a lot of metal. So that's our, that's the Devos flat pack fire pit. All we need now is some kind of grate to go on top of that. We can use that as a portable cooker. A portable cooker as well. Let's see what we can do about that. I found a solution. Was out running some errands and popped into Academy. And Academy had... A grate. It's actually an adjustable grate. These these little rods slip on the side. I don't need to adjust. It worked out to be a just a little bit. It worked out to be the right size. So now we need to get out in the wilds and we are on the road. And right now I'm getting the, the High O2 fire pit from Devils. I've got that assembled. You know, I'm in mom's driveway. Well, actually, I'm in front of the shop. But if I put together a, a working surface so I don't have to hunker down. I'm gonna cook up some burgers on the, on the High O2 with the Dude RV modification. We're gonna have some some bacon cheeseburger. The first modification is this grate, and it's it's practically perfect. Twelve dollars. But I'm also going to be cooking some bacon, and I don't want to break out the flat top griddle or a frying pan. I thought, why not turn the high O2 into a full blown kitchen? So I've got a large cast iron griddle, and it actually. And that rests on there like that. So I'm gonna get the charcoal going and then we'll uh, we'll heat up everything, kind of burn off any impurities before I start cooking. I got enough charcoal there that I'm gonna get that, that cast iron really hot and then we'll, we'll cook some bacon and you'll get to watch that and then we'll cook some burgers and you'll get, you'll get to watch that. It's a little bit hotter than I was expecting. <laughs> cooking good though. Just considering this is the first time this has been cooked on it it's a, it's pre-seasoned but it, it's not um not, not all the way where we want it yet and i'm running downhill to this corner The burgers are gonna go straight over the charcoal. They're not gonna be cooked on the on the cast iron just because. Here's what it looks like. They gonna be good. <laughs> You're gonna wish you were here. Yeah. All right, all right, check this out. We got two burgers, bacon. This one's bacon cheese. That actually worked out really good. I, I threw a couple of chunks of wood in there. That way we had some flame to kiss that meat and give us a little bit of hickory smoke flavors. We're gonna go eat. We're ready for some ribeyes, baby. Let's go put them on. There are a few things better than the sound of good meat grilling. We're cooking some ribeyes, baby, on the Devos fire pit. 
Devos, the Devos fire pit. It's cooking pretty good. I know it's just a fire pit, but man, it is sure making a good charcoal grill. You got, you got to, you got to see this. That's the devil's fire pit right there. <laughs> Dude RV thumbs up. I gotta eat. All right, all right, all right. We are cooking some Lone Star Brats. Of course, you know I'm cooking some Lone Star Brats. On the devil's high h2o grill actually it's not a grill it's a fire pit that i put a a grill cooking grate on and man i was just telling yappy on the phone i really like this flat pack fire pit this right now it's on the ground because i'm gonna put a fire in it in a little bit I have yet to have a brat fall into the fire. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you have to go back in time and look at the, the video I did for the Life Do Flat Pack Grill and Fire Pit. I lost a couple of, couple of meat products into the fire. I've yet to have that happen. So stay tuned, we're gonna have a campfire. Don't go away. Devos, high O2. Fire pit. It's doing what it was intended to do. Now here's a cool time lapse with some fantastic tunes.
they call it a smokeless fire pit and I know there's several of those on the on the market none of them are flat pack smokeless this one the high o2 is is of course I've got super dry wood uh, which gives you a smokeless fire anyway but I am just I'm really impressed with the airflow on this on this flat pack fire pit if you are interested in a Devos high O2, a high O2 fire pit slash flat pack cooker, a flat pack fire pit and cooker, if you're interested in one of these, link is in the description below and heck, I'll put one in the card right up there. I'm very... I, I'm more impressed with this one than I have been with any other flat pack grill slash fire pit I've worked with. I really like this one. It's heavier than all get out, but that tells me it's quality. We're done here. If you enjoyed this video, click on that thumbs up and blast me out across your social media. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And remember, hit that bell as well. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. And that's why I'm out here in Oak Park shooting video about this cool flat pack fire pit. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have the opportunity to do that. So thank you very much for that opportunity. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?